Hi guys, so I am back with a, another educational haul. I recently ordered some things from my son's um, Scholastic Book Club through his class. And I've also picked up some things from several other places. So I wanted to share with you what I have picked up. So I will start off first with the Scholastic News. So if you're not familiar with Scholastic News, I'm sorry, I'm trying to sit down. If you're not familiar with Scholastic News, Scholastic, not news, I'm sorry, I'll take that back. Scholastic Book Club, there is a Scholastic News, which is more like a magazine, um, but this is a book club. So if you're not familiar with Scholastic Book Club, whether you're a parent or a homeschool parent or teacher, it is very, very, very beneficial for you to grab one. So what it is, is a book club that you can get based on the age and the grade and the reading levels for your child or your students. And they can order these books throughout um, the year based on however they, I think they do it monthly. Um, and I did it all the time for my class when I was teaching in the classroom because, um, and now I'm, I'm the technology teacher, but because, because you as a teacher or a parent can also gain points by how many orders are placed. So however many orders are placed for your students, by your students rather or by your parents you're able to get those points and then use those points to buy things or save up for something called a teacher bonus store or something in that nature it's just really beneficial and i would say that when i was teaching in the classroom fourth grade in the classroom when my students would order books i would use those points that they gave that i would receive from them to turn around and buy them books for christmas as christmas presents and they have dollar books they have very good promotionals in that nature this goes in hand in hand with the scholastic book fairs and the scholastic warehouse sales it's just the scholastic book clubs that comes in a like little magazine that you can order online or send in money through your kids so as a homeschool parent I would also look into that I mean mind you if you are ordering for your child you're just getting points back from what you've bought but that's still a good advantage so anyway I ordered some books from his class mind you I have an account still and I could have ordered through it myself but I wanted to support his teacher um, but I still have some points left over that I can spend but I wanted to go ahead and, and actively do this for him because right now when every every a child buys a book it helps get a book for the classroom I think that's what it's considered now but anyway I'm enough talking so I bought about $21 worth of books mind you there are several places in the world that you can get cheaper books for for example the dollar tree for example if you have a ollie's by you or even a consignment store any of those natures yes you can get cheaper books but the good thing about these is that it's helping your your teacher in your classroom and your students love to, your children love to order as well so anyway i picked up the junie b jones and the stupid smelly bus um i bought two copies because i'm going to gift one of these to my niece she and um my son bryce and their other cousin also are are all in first grade me my sister and my cousin had our children in the same year i know crazy but um i went ahead and got her this because she is reading on i believe at level f now so this book is really good for her she's a really good reader so i went ahead and picked her up one as well and i think she really will really enjoy juna b jones because she kind of reminds me of her so i got one for her and one for my son and sorry i also picked up fly guy presents bats this is considered to be more of like a realistic fiction book because of course fly guy is in it but it has real photos in here because it's talking and giving facts about bats so i thought that was pretty cool and my son is loving nonfiction things now, so I thought this would be really cool to associate a book that he loves, Fly Guy, and then also some nonfiction. I also picked up or bought If You Give a Dog a Donut. It is just like if you give a mouse a cookie, if you give, I don't know, something else. So I got If You Give a, a Dog a Donut. 
And there's tons of these if you give books. I also picked up or bought National Geographic's Ugly Animals. I thought this would be really cool because these animals are really ugly, guys. Look at this. Oh, my God. What is it? Oh, my goodness. That's considered an ugly frog. And that's a bird. Look at that. Woo. So, yes, I picked this up because I know he would be into that. I also picked up Cats vs. Dogs National Geographic. And they have some other ones, too. Migrations to Butterflies, Elephants, Wills, and uh, Amazing Animal Journeys. And I'm going to tell you about this in just a second. This is a level three. So, guys, we, I've said this in tons of videos. You want to make sure that, you know, it is the level that you, your child can read if you're, you're intending to get it for them. Because the levels are all different for different type of series. But I went ahead and pick this one up for us to kind of read together okay and this book is really cool because this is is like um you know the questions are who has the scariest relatives or um let's see another one whose nose whose nose knows best so they're kind of um doing cats versus dog based on different qualities okay the next one is the Monstore, which I think is really cute. Very colorful and graphic in color. And the last, the next one is Even Monsters Need Haircuts. Which I think is pretty cute. And there's just some of the pictures. And the last one is the gingerbread man loose in the school. It says, what's the gingerbread man to do when his class leaves him behind? Go find them, of course. Tour this school with this smart cookie. So I thought this would really, I didn't know if it was more of a spin from the gingerbread man, but I definitely wanted to get it. And when I, my son opened up, he was like, oh, mom, this is like a comic book. And I was like, it sure is sort of like it, how it's set up. Okay, so those are the books that I got received from um, the book fair, not the book fair, but the book club. I also went to Sam's not too long ago to pick up some produce. And of course, I could not go by without going by the books. And I picked up this Star World, Star War, I can't even talk, Star Wars workbooks. Um, it's for ages six, seven, it's for first grade reading. And it's for first grade math. And it says, make learning fun with curriculum-based exercises and activities from a galaxy far, far away. It says, basic reading comprehension, making connections, nouns, verbs, and adjectives, phonics, concepts, spelling, and vocabulary list lists. And it's aligned with National Common Core Standards. And it's by the editors of, editors of BrainQuest. So I definitely picked this up. It was only $10 for both. And it is um, kind of like things such as IGH and IE words and being able to put them in. And it's all associated with Star Wars. My son does not know much about Star Wars, but I thought this would still be a little fun. So I picked up this one and it came in a pack together. And then the first grade math, this one is counting to 120, which I thought was rather interesting because the books that I hauled from Five Below, which I can link um link below or above uh and that are still there because i just went yesterday does for first grade they do not have counting to 120 and by far first grade does need to count to 120 so i was really really excited to see that they supported that so counting to 120 place value comparing numbers addition and subtraction word problems two-dimensional shapes and I thought that was pretty cool. Jetty edition, less or more. So this is comparing, place value suns, counting creatures, counting starfighters. Um, and then here's some, some shapes, some, some number sentences, word problems, things in this. And this is just all uh, based on Star Wars. So I thought that was pretty interesting and just, you know, supporting the supplements that I've been doing with him. And then, guys, I went to the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, 
is like the bomb literally i am loving adultery and it's making me get like figure out why in the world am i going anywhere else for books but of course they don't always have it but i wanted to show you what i got from one visit literally one visit so right now my store up the um, not too far from me up the street for me has ready to read olivia books these are level ones which just which says easy sight words and words to sound out simple plot and dialogue familiar topics and and themes i got this because he does like reading um or he does like olivia and i, I think this will be right on his um letter level as far as um the vocabulary goes so i picked up olivia plays soccer olivia and the kite party olivia goes to the library and olivia builds a house and all of these guys were at the the dollar tree in one go they had a whole section of them and they just had all four of these and you know it comes in like a box and it has all four of these i was ecstatic i couldn't believe it so i was really excited to have these and then i've been really gold mining literally with 